support for the Syrian citizens living in eastern Ghouta via social media, journalists and uh, commentators sharing photos from the conflict zone. However, not all of them appear to show the actual real picture. Zati's Kele Mopin now reports. Two heartbreaking photos posted with the words, this is Syria, except it's not actually Syria. One is from Mosul in Iraq, and the other is from the Israeli bombing of Gaza. Now, it's been raised in the comments that it's not actually Syria, but regardless, this post by some guy in Cleveland has tens of thousands of retweets. We decided to find out how many people here in New York would be ready to retweet or share this. Would you retweet that? I would. I don't typically use Twitter, but uh, maybe? No. It just seems like very politically motivated without have any, having any serious message behind it. I definitely wouldn't. I mean, just because there are horrors happening everywhere, and I don't know if Twitter is the platform for it anyways. Yes, I would. And why? I'm half Palestinian, and this is the same thing that's going on in my country. Interestingly, this is Mosul in Iraq, mm -hmm. and that is Gaza. So it's not actually Syria. No, but it's equivalent. The same type of things are going on in Syria. It's kind of just informative. It might not be, you know, to a T informative, but it's getting the message across. So even if these pictures are of someplace else, it's okay. Do you think that, do you buy that? I mean, to some extent, yes. If you think that it actually, it's like taking an initiative, then I feel like the, the pictures don't really matter. I think the real issue is scary and sad enough that we don't need to, you know, misinform people. You ought to have real journalism. You ought to have real information and verified, you know, content. Would this be fake news? Yeah, it would be fake news. I mean, part of why I don't use Twitter is because of the information fabrication that exists. I'm also hesitant about Facebook for this exact reason. You can't trust anything anymore. And it's a sad state of the world. <laughs> now, the saddest part is that some commenters say they don't actually care. They say people are dying in Syria, aren't they? Facts don't matter. That's how things are in the post-truth world. Caleb Moppin, RT, New York.